You think you can replace my mom? I thought her hiding was horrible. I fell asleep here. Why? Oh, looks like she's still awake. Should I come back another time? Um, no. Stay. I think it's about time you guys meet each other. Okay. Olivia, I want to introduce you to somebody. This is Arabella. This is Dad's new girlfriend. Arabella, this is my daughter, Olivia. I'll give you guys a minute to get to know each other. Well, hello there, gorgeous. How are you? Are you playing with your video games? No, I'm looking at stock prices on NASDAQ. Yes, I'm playing with my new video game. What does it look like I'm doing? Oh, of course you are. Uh, I like your name. It's very pretty. I bet you didn't know it means olive tree in Spanish, did you? I bet you didn't know it's an heiress in William Shakespeare's play, The Twelfth Night, did you? Yeah, you don't strike me as the intelligent type. Oh, well, I guess I just don't know my Shakespeare. Hey. Don't get too comfortable around here. You only need temporary replacement until my mom comes back. Oh. And where's your mom now? She's on vacation. She'll be back soon. Interesting. When does she come back? I don't know. Oh. And how long has your mom been on vacation for? Um, three birthdays, I think. She's a very busy woman. Oh, I see. Well, I'm really glad we got to meet Olivia. I hope we can be friends. I want to count on it. Hey, <laughs> you guys have a good talk? Yeah, uh, she's... Very sweet. I told you. <laughs> you want to go have a drink upstairs? Yeah. Uh, do I need to move my car first? Um, no, you're in guest parking. You'll be all right. Okay. You think you can replace my mom? No, I'm telling you, I don't know what the heck happened. No, no, you, I asked you if it was okay to park there and you said it would be fine. Yeah, I thought it would be, all right? Nothing like this has ever happened before. Do you have any jealous exes I need to know no, about? No, I told you, I'm new to California. I just, I don't know what's happening. Olivia, you don't know anything about this, do you? No, sorry to hear about your car, though. It looked new. How did you know it was new? I don't know. Like you guess? From that moment forward, Olivia began to make Arabella's life a living nightmare. At every chance she could get, she would find ways to ruin Arabella's life. She would flush her makeup down the toilet, put laxatives inside her drinks, put thumbtacks inside of her shoes. And even though it was never proven, we know Olivia bashed Arabella's car. One day, Brian sat Arabella down and explained to her that Olivia's mother had passed away in a car accident four years ago. And Brian just didn't have the heart to tell Olivia the truth. He thought he was protecting her by keeping her away. With all of Olivia's efforts, things didn't seem to help as her father and Arabella kept dating. Orbella kept trying to gain Olivia's affection, so she tried bringing over her cute dog one day as a way to bond. Good morning, Olivia. I have somebody really special I want you to meet. Now, I know I don't have any kids yet, but this is kind of like my child. Olivia, meet Helmet. Helmet, go say hi. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, he's such a cute dog. Uh, I mean, he's all right. Yeah, he's all right, I guess. I thought you might like having a dog to keep you company while me and your dad hang out. You know, Olivia, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye on things, but I really want us to get along. I really love your dad and he really loves you. And I really love you. And if we're gonna be living together, I want it to be easy for us to talk to one another. Mom's coming back, you know. Olivia, I'm not here to replace your mother. I don't think I could if I wanted. You couldn't. Just know, Olivia, if you ever want anyone to talk to or need a friend, I'm here for you. Do you want me to take Helmet with me? Um, no. He can stay with me. Okay. We need to talk. Yeah, what's up? She needs to know. Know what? About her mom. No, I can't. Why not? Because well, she's not ready yet. Ryan, how do you expect us to move forward if you keep lying to her? Can you see that she is lashing out at me because she thinks her mom's still out there somewhere? I said I can't, all right? I'm her father, and part of being her father is making sure I'm protecting her and keeping her from some of the ugly truths of life. I'm sorry, but her happiness sits above everything else. I agree, but she's old enough, Brian. You can't protect her forever. Make any sense? He's never bit anyone before. <laughs> He's evil, Dad. He brought him in here to attack me. No, I didn't. He, he, he couldn't have bit you. Orbella, get that dog and get him out of here. No, here, let me help. No, 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 Orbella, get the dog and just get out of here, both of you guys. Are you serious? I can't have you in here with that dog. Both of you need to go. She needs to know. I said, get out. Gladly. You okay, baby? You okay? Oh my God. Come on, let's go to the sink, come on. Arabella and Brian broke up that day. She felt by keeping this lie going, he wasn't allowing his daughter to grow up. And he felt that she was creating separation between him and his daughter. For weeks and weeks, Brian found himself missing Arabella. Olivia realized how much her dad was missing Arabella, and she realized the impact that her decisions had on her father. So she decided to come clean one day. Hey, Dad. Hey, baby. How's your arm? Um, that's actually what I wanted to come talk to you about. Yeah, is, is your arm okay? Do you need me to take you to the doctors? No, um, I lied about something. Lying about what? Where's the bite marks? There aren't any. Helmet never actually bit me. I just lied and put some ketchup on it to seem like he did. Why on earth would you do something like that? Because I was scared I was going to lose you to Arabella. I was scared you were going to fall in love with her and forget about me. Honey, I'm never going to forget you. You're my daughter. No one's ever gonna replace you. I can't believe you would lie about something like that. <sighs> but you know what? I've been lying to you about something as well. Olivia, there's no easy way to say this, but your mom passed away four years ago in a car crash. I know. You know? Wh what do you mean you know? Grandma told me. Gr Wait. You, my mom told you? What? Wait, when? When, when, where, when did she tell you this? How come I didn't know about this? She told me you were scared to tell me because you wanted to protect me. And I guess I never said anything about it because I like making believe that she's still alive and I'll get to see her soon. Oh, honey, come here. Oh, and there's one more thing you should know. I actually like Arabella. And I know you do too, 
So I invited her over. I called her and told her what I did. I wanted to make things right. We hope you enjoyed today's life lesson with Luis. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love.